I'm going to show you, try to do this in 10 minutes. It's obviously a complicated um, problem, as you can see. Um, so first thing you want to do is um, you want to solve for t less than zero. What have your initial conditions? So when t is less than zero, this is switch was closed, and the 20 milliamps, I mean 100 milliamps, is fo flowing through the uh, inductor. So I of L. I of L is equal to um, 100 milliamps, and you want to call, uh, calculate the VC, the voltage dropout uh, across the capacitor is going to be the same as uh, the voltage uh, across this register because they're connected in parallel. Uh, in parallel, yep. And this is which was open, so VC equals to 150. You use a uh, voltage divided equation. 150 times 3.75 divided by 3.75 plus 7.5 gives you 11.25. This equals to 50 volts. Now that sh now that you have your initial conditions, uh, uh, solve for when t is greater than or equal to zero. When t is greater than or equal to zero, uh, what happens is uh, this is which opens which means you don't care about this part anymore and this is which closes now you have this circuit right here right so next thing you want to do is um, put these two together into a current and once you do that this becomes connected in, in parallel with this one and then put them together So this is what what your circuit is gonna look like. Um, when you put this together, you have 20 milliamps, and then this after you do that, this will be connected in parallel with this. And when you put them together using the um, uh, REQ equation, you'll have 2.5 uh, kilo, uh, kilo ohms. So this is this is gonna be your final uh, circuit right here, and you have your 20 milliamps. So once you have this, next thing you want to do is solve for alpha and omega. Alpha equals to 1 over 2 RC. You have 1, 2 times your R is 2.5 times 10 raised to uh, 3 times C is 0 0.25 times 10 raised to negative 6. This gives you after you put it in the calculator it gives you 800 and your omega naught equals to radical of 1 over LC this equals to 1 over L is 4 times 0 0.25 times 10 raised to negative 6 this equals to 1000 so now compare this to these two values and as you can see as you can see alpha is, is less than omega naught therefore this is the under damped the under damped case so when it's under damped uh, you have a certain equation that you use I would say just looking at the textbook um, when it's critically damped or over damped there you use different equations for the under damped um, what we're going to use is first thing we want to calculate is the damping frequency omega d equals radical of omega naught squared minus alpha squared this gives you radical of omega naught is 1000 squared minus 800 squared this gives you 600 and then um, also you want to calculate uh, your current at infinity well, or your voltage as you can see there's no voltage here but we have a current uh, flowing through the circuit at infinity um, this becomes open circuit and this becomes short so the 20 your I final is, is equal to 20 milliamps 20 milliamps will be circulating this circuit right here um, so here you calculate uh, 
you're going to write your uh, equation for IL IL of T equals to E to the negative alpha or negative 800 T K1 cosine 600 T plus K2 sine of 600 T plus I final which is 20 milliamps now we're going to solve for K1 and K2 the first thing we use is initial conditions IL 0 which gives you 100 milliamps because when you put in 0 for T this becomes 1 and this becomes 1 this becomes 0 so you have K1 plus 20 milliamps this gives you this gives you value for K1 to be 80 milliamps alright so now once you find for K1 you solve for K2 the way you solve for K2 is by derivating IL of T so D IL of T IL when T is 0 over DT is the same as VC when 0 over L and uh, this is also a short uh, way of instead of derivating this whole equation you can just use this formula this negative alpha k1 plus wd k2 okay whenever you have under damped uh, when you get to this part you can use this equation so vc at 0 is 50 over 4 and you have to convert this value into milliamps so times 1000 equals 2 because this gives you in, in amperes but our values are in on this side are all because k1 is is in milliamps you convert this into milliamps equals to negative uh, alpha is 800 k1 is 80 um, w is 600 k2 and after this, uh, this becomes 12.5 and then you multiply and then you plug and chug you find K2 to, to be 1 tw um, yes, it's going to be 1 127.5 milliamps so after this you have both of your um, both of your coefficient values, so you just write equation for IL of T. So IL of T equals to D to the negative 800 80, which is K1, cosine of 60, 600 T plus. 127.5 sine of 600 T plus 20 this whole thing is in milliamps and this is for T greater than or equal to 0